We're listening to the music of uh, Grammy-nominated David Lanz. When his album Christophori's Dream first came out in 1988, it remained at the top of Billboard's contemporary jazz chart for 28 weeks. 25 years later, Christophori's Dream Re-Envisioned was released. A perfect time for David Lanz to return to Korea. Good morning, David. Good morning. It's very nice to be back here in Seoul. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes, my pleasure. So, uh, this new album, Christophori's Dream Re-Envisioned, what is it? How is it different? Well, I was trying to. I wanted to do something special for the 25th anniversary. Typically, many record labels will just put out the same album. They'll remaster it. They'll give you a couple of different, you know, bonus tracks. Originally, the album was recorded, and I had uh, quite a few different musicians. I had string sections. Uh, I had Matthew Fisher, who was a very well-known organist from the the rock band Procol Harum from the 60s. Yeah. I had several drummers, flute players. So I thought, based on the artist that I am today, what would I want to do? Um, did I want to make it bigger and more exciting? And I thought, no, I just wanted to make it more intimate. And and so I went and recorded the entire album as a solo piano recording mm. instead of, you know, with all the, the extra musicians and, and production. And that allowed me actually to play the songs. Uh, I didn't want to change them too much, but just enough. So I added a little more improvisation and reinterpreted, you know, re-envisioned the album um, in a way that I felt like, you know, after 25 years, um, I've been practicing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a more I, mature version of I think uh, it's slightly more mature mm. and a little, maybe a little more deeper emotionally because the songs... Um, have lived with me for so long, so and that was really my. And then we did add we had, we did end up adding um, uh, a beautiful orchestral version of of the title song Christopher East Dream that had been recorded live many years before. Mm-hmm. And then uh, on my last trip to uh, Korea, I ended up doing um, at the end of my concert an improvisation that was recorded and it's called soul improvisation mm. and i just added that it just seemed like a, that's how i ended the album it just seemed like a very nice way to kind of you know kind of tie everything up put a nice cap on the mm-hmm. on the, pr- the the program as it were so so we can yeah. look forward to uh, a more mellow perhaps a more mature version of the yes, forest and stream yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and again with a little more improvisation mm-hmm. and on some of the pieces and so that's yeah that's what it is before we take it back to the beginning, uh, tell me w- how you think you have evolved as a musician over the past 25 years. It's <laughs> a good question. <laughs> um, you know what? I really pretty much knew what I wanted to do at a very young age. So I think the, the process for me was not so much to work so much on my technique, but really to do more exploration of who I am. And because any artist... Any musician really, it's a reflection, let's say, of their their intellect, a reflection of their emotions, uh, definitely a reflection of their soul. So I think my uh, involvement has come more from an, an, the inner exploration that I've done. I'm, mm. I'm always been kind of a spiritual kind of person, and, and that part has really informed my music. So, um, so I've probably have a combination of doing lots and lots of performance and uh, working on, I do quite a bit of meditation, which helps my concentration. So I think my um, my expression has has improved quite a bit from from some of these techniques that I've done. And mm-hmm. have you reached your destination as a musician, or are you still evolving? <laughs> I, do we ever really reach our destination? You know, um, I feel very comfortable where I am. However, I'm always looking to expand and. Uh, and I think really the job of most artists is to constantly kind of reinvent themselves. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I've, I'm in the process of, of doing that all the time. So yeah. Yes.